In order to properly analyze a photograph, be it an image of a humanitarian disaster, of a major political event, or of a major conflict, there are three particular methodological steps we need to take. They involve, in step one, an analysis of the production of the image. Furthermore, in step two, an analysis of the content of the image itself. And finally, in step three, an analysis of the impact that the image has. Together, these three steps enable us to get an understanding of the meaning of an image. Now, Roland, that's a little bit abstract when we talk about it in this way. And so what I would propose us to do is to actually do a practical analysis of an image, to sharpen our senses of how such an analysis is actually done. Let's do that, but I suggest let's just focus on one of these three steps. They're all complex, so let's focus on the content of images. The content, I think, is particularly important because ultimately that's what we see. That's what triggers emotional reactions in us. Um, that's what we have to understand in its complexity to know the politics of images. So of the photographs you brought with you, which one did you choose for us to talk about? Well, Seb, I thought we might actually take some time to return to the image of the tsunami that we saw previously. So this was on the front page of the New York Times on the 28th of December 2004. It was actually the second day of print coverage of the tsunami. And it's a photograph taken by photographer Guatam Singh. Um, and he was a local photographer at the time because it did take a short while for professional photographers to get to the area. So what we want to do now is carefully analyse the content of this particular image. And to do so, we're going to use three particular methods. We're going to use so-called compositional analysis, we're going to use semiotic analysis, and we're going to use discourse analysis. Okay, so please talk us through what is involved in each of those. And let's start with the compositional analysis. Well, a composition analysis is something in some sense very commonsensical. It's about carefully looking at the image, carefully analyzing what we see. Um, we often see images around us, but we don't really pay that much attention to the details. So here we want to really carefully look at what is in the image, what we can see, what we can feel, and what that tells us about politics. 